Les signes diacritiques. And I know that the title is quite scary and you probably think that's all. Oh, I don't want to watch this video. But trust me, it's, uh, I mean, it's quite important uh, for a good reason. And well, basically, what is Les signes uh, diacritiques? It's the idea that at one point in the language, we will use un signe, a sign, something that you will add to a letter and by adding this sign to the letter it will make a new letter okay and it's something quite common in french and we'll see exactly what we are talking about because even if it's scary the good news is that we've got only cinq signes diacritiques cinq signes diacritiques and the first one is accent aigu okay the second one is accent grave Third one is accent circonflex, then tréma, and last but not least, cédille. Okay, so accent aigu, accent grave, accent circonflex, tréma, and then cédille. So let's start with l'accent aigu, and it basically, it looks like that. Okay, so this is l'accent aigu, and let's see. You will actually put l'accent aigu on the top of E. Okay? It doesn't come on the top of A, I, O, U, Y. It's only on E. Okay? So keep in mind that l'accent aigu is only coming right here on the top of E. Okay? Then you will have l'accent grave. And it goes in the other direction. Okay, but then l'accent grave is actually more used because you can put it on the top of A, on the top of E, and then on the top of U. Alright, after that you get l'accent circonflex, so it's like a little roof here, like a little hat, and it's, it will come on the top of A, E, I, O, and U. Then tréma, just like two little dots, dots here. And it will come on the top of A, E, I, O, and then U. Okay, and the last one, la cédille, if you look carefully, basically it will come right below your C letter. Okay, so remember, l'accent aigu, l'accent grave, l'accent circonflexe, le tréma, la cédille. All right, and the idea, of course, in this video, it's only, is only to present these five signs. So in the next lessons, in the next units, I will focus on explaining how to pronounce them because, of course, the pronunciation will change. If you put l'accent aigu on the top of E, basically you won't pronounce it like you would pronounce it without the accent. Okay? But then keep in mind that we've got these five signes diacritiques. Accent aigu. Accent grave, accent circonflexe, tréma, cédille.